Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Loris Day. Thank you for your continued support. <coughs> and this one, oh boy, y'all, yes, 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 yes. All right, thank you also, uh, Jake Rowe, that's just for inspiring this one because this is huge with narcissistic abusers, okay? Because remember, they have that victim mentality, okay? That's what gets them attention. So, they will continue to always, always, always need to play the one-upmanship with that. All right, let's say, for example, okay, a lot of us have had this happen. You know, and, and a lot of times, you know, we, we have to just let it, whether it's a true story or not, we never really know sometimes. Unless we were there and we know, you know, whatever. But let's say the narcs does share. Okay, every once in a while they'll do this, remember, because they like pity party. Right? They like the attention. They like the woe me, the pity parties. They want people to feel sorry for them. See, that's how they tug, okay, at people's heartstrings. That's how they get, that's how they get um, that illusion of control over other people's emotions. Why we overcome that feeling sorry for them. That's, that's what they want. Alright, yes. So we stop doing that. So if we're ever still working on that, keep going. Because you will overcome that. Alright, you will You will get to a po point where it's, it sinks in that, you know what? They chose to be like that. So there's no reason to feel sorry for them. Mm -mm, no, because that's, that's what they want. We, we learn. See, whatever it is that they want, we learn not to give it to them. <laughs> Bottom line, right? And then whatever it is a narc would try and tell us, like, to do... We do the opposite. <laughs> I kid you not. Okay, seriously, because if they're trying to steer us in any kind of direction, we learn that they're trying to uh, take us in the wrong direction. So we go, oh, okay, yeah, oh, if they, they they tell us to, oh, this uh, go this way or whatever. That, that's okay. We're gonna go that way. All right, that's it. We do the opposite of what they might suggest or try to tell us to do. Okay, and that's in general, you all. Seriously. All right, we learned this, okay? But they will share a story, okay? When they do this, all right, they will have crocodile tears, yes. They will have crocodile tears. They will have that woe me, uh, and, and, and it feeds their ego, yes, absolutely, okay? Because everything, like, now centered around them, right? Mm-hmm. So now they've got everybody's attention, right? Whoever it is. Maybe just you know, one target or a group. It doesn't matter. All right? And they're doing this woe me pity party. They're sharing a little bit of a sad story. Okay? They're sharing some... So, you know, it, it, like they're opening up their hearts a little bit. Right? To share their story. And so you give them, you know, the uh, condolences or the uh, typical... Uh, expected reactions, you know, to them for that because hey, you know, uh, that that's that's tough, you know what I'm saying. And we'll say we, you know, or they might trick us into apologizing when we didn't have anything to do with it, things like that. But however, we show a little compassion or whatever. But let's say turn around about about maybe a week later or something, and then the target has something that they want to share that like kind of a you know a sad moment or what have you right or so something something you know bad that may have happened All right and so the target wants to share that with the narc and so then the narc will basically shut the target down as the target try to you know share a little something you know like you know whatever it is you know a bad experience or what have you and because the narc they like they want their victim mentality okay for that a uh, feeling of superiority, okay? And what they'll do is they'll shut the target down and they'll say something like, oh, if you think that's bad, well, how about this? And they that's another way they turn it back around to make it all about them. Uh-huh, okay? And so that's one thing they'll do. Right? One thing that they'll do right? when the victim tries to, or target tries to share uh, something that they wanted to open up about. And so the narc will do that. And that's also an example of the narc trying to play one-upmanship. In other words, like, oh, you're, like, the target story is not, you know, oh, that's, oh, well, that's sad, but guess what? Uh, the narc got a sadder one. And that's also a part of their negativity, too, you all. 
seriously. Uh, and that's why we witness a lot of the aging narcs sit there and they compare their 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 health stuff. Okay, uh, they do. I I kid you not. Witnessed case study on this with some aging one sitting around the table, and that's all they did was compared each other's. It's like one upmanship with that. I was like, okay, it didn't take long to walk away. <laughs> I was like, seeing everything I need to see with that. All right, but that is exactly what they do. All right. Then here's the other thing. They will also exploit the target's sad story. Let's say the narc doesn't interrupt and try to play one-upmanship, okay, mm -hmm. and turn it back around on themselves. Hey, let's say they don't do that, and they go ahead and they let the target. Remember, because a lot of times when they do that, when they don't cut the target off or try to play one-upmanship, turn it back around on them, Okay, a lot of times, they're just getting, they're trying to gather data. That's right. Okay, remember, they're trying to ga gather data, especially if it involves any type of previous abuse. Uh-huh, see? Because one thing we do realize about these narcissistic abusers, they love to hear about our past experiences with abuse so that they can exploit it and put us through it again. That's exactly what they do. Alright, so this is why we learn, especially when we first meet somebody, you know, before un until we're fully healed. Okay, because many of us, we've got books out there, we've got our stories out there, so it is what it is. It's out there. However, the difference is, for a lot of us, once we're fully healed, it is not going to work. Love bombing not just say no to the trauma bond, okay? Love bombing is not going to work. Mm -mm, no. Alright, because we can see it. And because of that, then they don't stand a chance, okay, at all. Now, yeah, our story is out there. And so once we recognize that they're trying to use, and let's say a narc did read our story, okay, because, yeah, we found out that does happen. <laughs> Quite funny, because they don't get it. They did not interpret it correctly either. Of course not. You know, that narcs don't, never mind, okay, they, they don't want to... Uh, they don't want to interpret things correctly, especially if they read something and they know it's about them. Oh, that's a big one. Uh-huh. So yeah, it bruises their ego. But it's not going to work if, if another narc out here does pick up on our story and then, you know, try something from all of that because we realize now that, yeah, the enemy has no new tricks, so nothing new under the sun, and so if he sends another flying monkey to try to dish out that same old stuff, well, then we're going to spot it, okay? Especially when we're over that, we're fully healed. We've got that balance between the physical and the spiritual. And that we may, we're able to maintain that regulation and stuff like that. Yeah, there is, none of that's going to work again. No, because, you know what? Already been done. <laughs> and we've already overcome it. See, that's another thing right there is that when the narcs exploit our stories like that, before we are awakened and, and, or, or even during the awakening, right, to try and trigger us or whatever, then they will, you know, they'll do that because they want to prolong, uh-huh, they want to prolong the traumatization. They want to see if they can get the target to stay in a season that they're supposed to move out of, you know, and well, God will always do it on his time, absolutely, to get you forward, but a lot of times the narc wants to, because they want to try to keep you, yeah, keep you from being able, you see how the narcissism is resistance, mm-hmm, there you go, all right, that's how they do it. You know, try to keep you down there with them. Try to keep you in that low vibration so that you don't continue to rise. So you don't continue to heal. So you don't continue to awaken. All right? they, they don't want that. The enemy doesn't want that. But again, that's too bad. Because <laughs> again, nothing's going to stop what God's doing. When, God, when you turn your life over and you are picking up that cross and, and following Jesus. And you are doing what God called you to do. And things like that. And you're doing the healing. You're doing the work. You're letting God do what God's got to do. Then, okay, ain't nothing, nothing going to stop what God is, is going to do. Period. 
You know, the enemy is going to try, but it's not going to work. Okay? Because it's a huge thing that we all uh, come to learn and accept and realize that, okay, you know what? Let the enemy try. Huh. All right? It's not going to work. All right? The enemy, listen. Mm. Yeah, because you get, you, you get to a point where the reason is not, it's not going to trigger you anymore because you know it's external, it's not coming from within, but also because you've seen it before. You know what I'm saying? You've been through it before. You're going to recognize the pattern. You're going to know what they're trying to do. And you'll be like, what? And you're going to know within yourself that, hey, you worked really hard. And God knows that too, that you worked very hard to get where you're at. Yes, to get fully healed. You worked far too hard for that. To let the enemy even in there. To even let the enemy, you know, uh, quote unquote, succeed with with that again. You're like, no. You, you, you know, when you get fully healed and that Holy Spirit just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah, you don't let the enemy penetrate that armor of God. Uh, uh, uh. No, because that's our spiritual power. Yes, we don't let him. Uh, it was like, no. <laughs> it was all part of telling the enemy to go pound sand. Take a hike. All right, return to sender, first class. However, whatever works for you. Rebuke in the name of Jesus, ultimately. Okay, and that's it. We, we don't let them. But, you know, the narcs will exploit the target story like that. And not only that, because when the target wants to share their story, okay, with the narc, it threatens the narc victim mentality. All right, there you go. Bottom line right there. It threatens their victim mentality. They don't like it. They like their victim mentality. They don't want, you know, to give that up. They, <laughs> After all, they think that they're the only one out here that's going through that. They're the only one. It's like they can see they're not. Oh, yeah. They can see they're not. They don't want to believe it. They truly, in their own mind, think that they're the only ones who's going through a rough time. That's in their heads. All right. See, but God chose an impasse. We know better. We know that. Not, we know that there's others out here going through similar stuff. That other people have gone through stuff. We understand that. We're not the only ones. That's why we're out here together. All right. That's why a lot of us are out here together to help you all. Yes, to overcome these things. Cause it does. You know, it takes an army of God's chosen one to come together, okay? He, he, God is bringing his army of chosen ones together to help each other. There you go. And that's how God works. Yeah, the enemy, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you get to that point, y'all. Seriously. We, we don't give him any more attention. All right, so as always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you could check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.